Getting 250 gold and going to that store. Seems good. I think this one. I could go to this one. But it limits my act quite a lot if I do that. I think my silent ducks, they reject three. Die to the heart very regularly. Which is like not even a little bit true for defect and mostly not true for ironclad. took another 17 damage. I just... I just can't with this character. <laughs> like... I didn't play that fight wrong. The rest of the store is pretty difficult. It's a hexagon act, which makes me want Predator. Say I die Act 3 with Silent Often. But you feel like I'm wrong? Okay. I feel like I'm right. <laughs> and I'm the person who plays the rounds. So, I'm gonna trust me. It's one of the ones that feels like it makes you strong early, if you get it early on silent. And we got it. Hey, this one isn't that bad of a... Night. is just not like reading. Probably need to clean my mouse pad. Maybe I I don't know. <sighs> it's 
see if that works any better. I'm not sure if it's the mouse pad or if the mouse cord is getting tangled up and stopping me from actually moving it when I think I'm moving it somehow. Double crippling cloud. See, when I start double crippling cloud, I feel like I understand how to win with this character. The effect has been known to die in Act 2, for sure. That's a thing the defect is very capable of achieving. Crippling Cloud Wraith Farm. <sighs> this game. <laughs> this game. This game. Plans. Well laid plans seems like the like last card that the deck needed almost. Do I take the boot? This deck's so strong if it reaches late game. And it makes my shivs deal one more damage. And neutralize deals two more. I think I take it. I think that's probably not actually that close even. just giving me everything. Imagine if your heart could steal your relics and got the boot. Oh. What a terrifying dystopian future that would be. <laughs> okay. a lot of clouds for you. <laughs> well done, malfunctioning mage. I will note this down. As a leading strategy.
I don't love this. I didn't want to rust. Or can I play Wraith Form here? I don't think I have enough damage. It means I take 9, which is probably fine. The boot! Damage added 25. Almost 3 per turn. Oh no, Vajra. Vajra, no. What do you think of the boot? <laughs> Pretty good deflect. It becomes awkward if I get Snekoi, which I'm definitely taking if offered, but... That's okay. Wondering about liquid bronze for this hexaghost fight. I think I'll just do it. You wouldn't have picked up Vajra? Hmm. Well, I. Applaud your bravery. What if I don't have a block card and draw two burns here and go to one? Hmm. Definitely a deck that could use a fourth energy. He's all bad, I think. Slow. Fiber and things of the 17 months. Bomo show to you too. So I went to 33 on floor one of this act against Jawworm and didn't rust.
33. Not resting, not resting, not resting, not resting. End of act. As Smith thinks of the six months. On FOMO show to you two. I think they're all just bad. Okay. Just cursed key, I think. Tired, like sleepy tired, like might fall asleep during this run tired. Oof. I think Sir Ian McKellen would be good at Slay the Spire. Don't say why not. Falling asleep midstream. Nope. I mean, not before now. Drops is okay. Wish it was upgraded. The all attack plus isn't actually bad. It doesn't play incredibly with well laid plans, but it deals so much damage. It's like. <sighs> it's weird because I have three crippling clouds, but it's actually good still, I think. Calculated Gamble. That one is so strong here. Maybe I go left now. Maybe I go left now. Seems like an okay act to take the super lead in. For deflect. How is tools worse than well laid plans? Well laid plans draws you the exact card that you want every turn. Tools draws you a random card from your deck every turn. The boot! Double calculated gamble. Okay. I 
ever considered pronouncing my name as Gorbs? Nope. Never have I ever considered that. Tools has a chance for synergies. What do they do? My deck has the ability to make like 200 poison on something and a wraith farm. What do the tools synergies do? Very little. Can your husband pronounce it Yorbs? When I started playing Among Us, I called myself Yorbs as a joke and sort of stuck with a bunch of people who I was playing with at the time. I was playing with um, Hearthstone people mostly. And so a lot of people in the Hearthstone community call me Yorbs and it's very cute. I like it. <laughs> It makes me smile. Alright, Calcum's really good, and so is Clockwork Souvenir, and I cannot quite purchase both of them. I'm really close, but I can't quite get them both. Is Catalyst more rare than before? No, you just get offered it on floor two when you have no poison cards in your deck, and on no other floors. It's my experience anyway. It was Hafu that brought you here? Oh, that's awesome. Hafu is rad. She's been crushing Valorant lately. It's tough. I think it's Clockwork Souvenir because of my calculated gambles. I'm really good at playing Wraith Form turn one. Abnormally good at playing Wraith Form turn one. And if I take Clockwork Souvenir, I don't need to kill while things are still... I don't need to kill while I'm still intangible. Like, I can use the three turns of intangible to play Footworks and stuff instead. And then just be a normal deck. So I think that's a little bit stronger. I'm not 100% sure. Why did I stop playing Among Us? Uh... Same reason I stopped playing all of the other games I've played in my life and stopped playing them, I guess. Like, I started doing something else. response. Is it a polite response? So I can use liquid memories in this fight, and it's likely that I will. But I think I'll use it next turn if I don't draw like double crippling cloud. Because if I draw double crippling cloud this turn, I probably don't need to use liquid memories. Is that good enough? That might be good enough too. It's only 39 damage. There's all out of time. A wraith farm is why I'm intangible.
Okay. Super lead dot. The bouncing flask plus. Feels like I must take. Alchemize is fun. I sort of want runic pyramid. So I'm holding off on upgrading well laid plans. I also like I don't have a burst or a catalyst yet, so there aren't that many things for me to hold with it really. I keep on upgrading card draw. Like doesn't actually kill stuff that fast. So it also doesn't really set up to be that strong. It's a curious deck. Chest because I didn't want a curse. Does the deck need more defense? The deck needs more damage. More acceleration. The thing that well laid plans does is let me calculate or gamble for another card the next turn. Which isn't like an incredibly strong thing really, but it is nice. Crippling Cloud works. You dislike this stupid plant. You're not the only one. I'll be drawing another one. This plant is the third worst fight in your opinion. Great fight for the player. There are a lot of things that beat the plant up pretty well though. Can I win this? <laughs> Without well laid plans for Wraith Form, I feel very very monk ass. Curses are very bad, and thirteen. Which 
Generally, if you don't have to take a curse. You know. It's just lethal next turn. You all at attack. This is the fight that I took it for. I did the thing it was for. Thank you all at attack. Bottle a crippling cloud or a calculator gamble. Probably a calculator gamble. I imagine I'll want to play Crippling Cloud turn one of basically every fight, but still. Still gonna want a calculated gamble there. This deck take apparitions? Probably. I just play Wraith Farm, I win, so... This is fine. I should have kept it up on. Just gonna lose four health for no reason. Yeah. Oops. Which deck is the most efficient to beat the game? What does efficient mean? Does that mean the fastest? are now even more weakened on turn one. Sorry about that, enemies. Transform two strikes. Nightmare. Nightmare makes me wish I took Ara Calcom instead of um, Clockwork Souvenir. Oh well. What is the sensible upgrade here? I don't want to waste an upgrade if I get Pyramid or Sneko Eye. I guess it's Skewer. Do I ever play Skewer? The most efficient means the fewest number of cards needed to be played to get to the end credits. Ah. Uh... I think that's Pandora's glitch into Grand Finale for Silent. I think that's fewer cards than Ironclad Whirlwinds, but I'm not 100% sure. Pandora's glitch is a way to not take all of the cards that you transform into, so you just use Pandora's to remove all of your basics instead.
And I have Nightmare. The Wall Light Plans upgrade is pretty good. It's cheating. Depending on who you ask, it may or may not be cheating. I mean, <laughs> it's a glitch. Any runic pyramids in chat? God, are you? <clears throat> Decided seven damage was worth the low chance of that happening. <laughs> we'll see how that plays out for me. Not cheating if you're not playing against the person. That's certainly an opinion. Maybe seven. cloud intensifies. It's sad you don't know the difference. Is that the you're only cheating yourself? I know what that one is. Is that I like my potions. exciting. Wraith form 2. Stuck needs 5 energy. I think. Does it want Phylostown or Busted Crown though? It does seem like it's intangible a lot. Ghostmage are more rare. I believe it is the rarest type of potion, but it hasn't gotten more rare than that. Through here.
Aricalcum. Aricalcum, please. Please return to me. Tungsten rod? Nope, I can still get tungsten rod. Piercing whale. They probably take piercing whale. It's a useful one to have. I believe this wins somehow. We'll see if I can find a way through the fight from here. I guess Cloak and Dagger is technically a skill. Hey, hey, that's a good floor. Okay, I'm not gonna break Maw Bank until up here. I'll fight. I'll fight indeed. Shall I remove my blade dance next or shall I keep it? Feels like it would be okay to keep it. I don't remember if Alchemize makes fruit juice or not. It definitely can make regen pop. You footwork. Does this deck actually kill stuff fast enough to not take footwork? It doesn't have a fumes, it doesn't have a catalyst, it doesn't have a burst. We're meant to take footwork probably.
Wait. That's not okay. Duplication potion? I think that's better than uh, Gambler's Brew. I only had the boot and didn't have Vajra, the boot wouldn't have been able to deal 4 damage there. to make a thing of it. I said goodnight to my partner and then I looked back at my chat and someone was demanding that I play it, so I timed them out for the rest of the day. Super easy decision. Not really worth thinking about. Meaning about the potion word. Well, whoops. Sucks to that person's Asmar. Potion is timed out in this channel because I got so sick of people telling me to use a fucking potion that I like wanted to stop streaming this game and got therapy. So that's like the thing that you are returning to the memory of for me when you like try to make jokes about it. Just like for what it's worth. Maybe with that context you will like find it less interesting to do.
Yeah, I know, Gatorade. It's fine. I have my coping mechanisms and shit. <laughs> That like hurts me to look at when it's next to the duplication potion, like, because I think the duplication potion was red when I generated this, but then, oh my, ugh, I don't want to look at it. <laughs> Upsetting my eyes. Was the mouse movement now? I don't know. Okay, maybe. Ocean belts. Pretty good pickup. I almost went left. It is important not to go left there. I think I should be able to Nightmare Alchemize here. I don't see why not. to go to this store remove the curse from curse key I guess I don't have to but it is my intention to if you forget a key the Act 3 bosses. Would not recommend forgetting the key. <laughs> That's cute, mysteriously. I have the stuff. It's not that ludicrous to win a silent. I think last time I did this silent was my second highest win rate character. You just have to not die on floor six to Gremlin Knob. Who would have given you ceramic fish if you'd won? I think that's the secret. Is Tactic a deadly poison? Probably just take an unupgraded deadly poison. If I'm not gonna get obnoxious fumes, like. I don't know. I'll trust that the, this thing gets me there. Will I? Will I though? I feel like trusting that that thing gets me there. Not really.
Really specific scenario. Yeah. A very specific scenario which we have enjoyed dying to like 17 times. Great fun. <laughs> awesome thumbs up would not recommend. Kills you, how do you know if you would have gotten a ceramic fish? Well, that's the that's the crux of the whole thing, isn't it? encounters a lot more interesting or hard scenarios just because of how often how much she plays true lots of people don't understand how common it is to be given ceramic fish after you kill gremlin knob after image tungsten rod these are the really easy wins from here. But there are a bunch of other ways to do it as well. So John thinks the five gifted subs. I appreciate you. I have three strength. Oh yeah. And negative eight dexterity. <laughs> Not bad, thanks very much for the sub. That mirror. That mirror. It's either Wraith Form or Nightmare. Do we trust 18 turns of intangible with this deck? I don't know if we should trust 18 turns of intangible. We might need more. I guess I have a duplication pot. Which is another 9. I do sort of just die to the beat of death if we go any longer than that. If I nightmare to nightmare, could I make dexterity as quickly as I lost it with wraith form? No, there's no way. There's no way. This could also just be Adrenaline. Adrenaline is quite good. Uh, 
It's also possible for it to be well laid plans. We have some options. Nordex, I think sorry gifting a sub to the channel. I appreciate it. Jessica wants me to buy a slice. Hmm. I had obnoxious hymns. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna save my gold for next act, I think. None of this stuff is incredible. The piercing whale is not like awful, but I think one's enough. Maybe I need two. Probably wanna have two. I'm sure if I meant to save the region pod for 50 and health in Act 4, or just use it now. I can just use it now. to my deck, an enemy that takes a long time to die to poison and attacks for one times three every turn. Can we persevere? Deck actually has a lot of hard draw. I don't think acrobatics is that great here. deck lacks is damage? A few things. is what the deck lacks. We're good against the weekend one. Find out soon. Oops, so. I think you just look at the wing boots. I think they're the sort of shoes that you don't actually ever wear.
Got a second well-laid plans without having to duplicate it. That's nice. The block potions block a uh, times 15 attack by themselves almost. That's pretty cool. Maybe I want another block potion over the dex potion. Hey, Buddha Live. Tube, thanks very much for the two month sub. to play Wraith Form next turn. times have I been a full boat? Like today or in my life? I feel like we're stuck in this terrible loop of talking about potions. <laughs> Couldn't we just talk about anything else? Um, I don't hate the deck spot for a weekend one. I like have clear uses for every potion right now. Maybe the energy pot's the worst one. Yeah, it was better than that though. Do I enjoy toast? Yeah, toast is alright. Thinking about beating a weakened one with footworks. I don't know if I have enough backflips. Probably don't. Hydro drugs going going well. I'm not having any difficulty. Zero difficulty. Maybe just deadly poison for more damage. Maybe just take chip against the awakened one and assume it's fine. Something in my home that bothers me. Rent payments. <laughs> Fuck rent payments. Emmett, can we talk about that not in my chat while I'm trying to use my chat for a run of Slay the Spire? Maybe. I have no idea why this is important to you. <laughs> You, like, you have no reason to care about this. But if you do care about it, could you not do it here?
It's a turn one. It's a turn two. This should win. It take a little while. It's a card I think is really cool, whether or not it's good. Mm, am I allowed to say Crippling Cloud? I feel currently biased toward Crippling Cloud. <laughs> sure. I don't escape it. <laughs> Eight times four now? Oh. That's how much block I have. God, I'm good at this game. Terrifying how good I am at this game. Actually, just block just about. What a run. It will be. Defends aren't blocking anymore, so take three the next time that happens. Not play. It's too good. It's too tanky. But removal of Wraith form and subsequent rebalancing makes silent more interesting. Uh, subsequent rebalancing is doing a lot of work in your question. The subsequent rebalancing were good. Sure. But I mean, 
rebalancing silent in any way would make it more interesting if the rebalancing were good. GG. Meter is like a little bit tricky because of the poison cleanse, but should still be okay. Grand finale become better or worse if you remove the no cards and draw power restriction and the soundless animation. I think it would clearly become worse. I don't think that's close. time is good as you have an excess of card draw and a shortage of energy. Those are generally the two important resources in this game, card draw and energy. Anything that makes energy as good as if you have lots of card draw, and everything that draws cards is good if you have lots of energy. I feel like we can kill Time Eater before we run out of Intangible here, but it could be close. The way that the run would lose with this many Wraith Forms would be against the Beat of Death and the 1 times 15 attack from the heart. It's very possible to lose to those. Even just the time meter doing this one times three attack is doing a pretty good number on our health. Block it. Oh. Seems difficult. I meet her heels once. I'd rather see fumes or after image. Um, I don't think I need either after image, I guess, but I don't think it matters. Need base.
don't think any of these upgrades are better than 9 health. Just Frozen Eye and Gambler's Brew. Wins the run, I think. Farina Bottle's okay, too. Is Farina Bottle better than Gambler's Brew? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Turn one Wraith Form. I guess I have a lot of Wraith Forms in my deck. That's not super surprising, is it? Could I draw to the next one? Close. Ow. Why have I done this? Oh well. What am I gonna do? Use a block potion? Ah. I think actually it's right to Nightmare Crippling Cloud. Pretty sure. Rod make us theoretically invincible if we had Wraith Farm in play. I think actually invincible, not theoretically. <laughs> um, but we don't have the ability to always have Wraith Farm in play. We can't guarantee it on turn one. For example. tonight pretty good made it to the heart with all three ironclad didn't quite win in the heart fight though but i've got a good feeling about this silent run right now
this duplication pot bouncing flask, I think. I guess I could burst it. Does this mean 9 damage per turn to do it that way, though? Duplicate a bursted flask to the way three times or four times, three times. This is just an exercise in trying to win with the highest health possible at this point. I guess I didn't use the block potion last turn. Nightmare to hit something that dealt damage, ideally. I'm just gonna stop thinking. I'm thinking way too hard. It's late. I'm just gonna Nightmare Wraith for him and call it good. from the floor one jawworm fight. Somehow. The jawworm let us live. I think it's still 1 times 15 if I piercing while here. I'd have to weaken it too. Oh well. I could burst piercing while. For the lulls. Toy flying thing trigger when a fairy and a bottle is used. Yep. In fairness, the reason I finished the Hexaghost fight with under 5 HP was I went into it with 9 HP. In fairness. I don't think this deck has been in much danger since it picked up the second Wraith form, I don't know. Something like that.
All right. Well, I'm asleep, so I'm gonna go to bed to be asleep in my bed instead of in my office chair. Thanks for tuning in for the second stream of the day. I guess I ended up with four kills today. It's pretty good. I will be back tomorrow, although I may decide to sleep in. This is the latest I've been up by like four hours for the last week. <laughs> 